Hi, these comments are for JV and I am Michael from OTC Online TOEFL Course.com. I'm the founder, owner, and the materials writer, and you're doing the free TOEFL speaking practice test eva evaluation. So you want to get a general idea of what your speaking strengths and weaknesses are as they relate to the rubrics, right? So I have them right here, actually. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your response now, and let's see how you did. So I'm going to listen to the whole thing once. I won't make any comments at all. Then the second time, I will give you comments. Personally speaking, I... Okay, one thing before I say something. Hold on. Uh, you sent two practice tests, right? But for free, I only will grade one of them for free. It cost me about $15 just to do this practice test. So if I did two of them, it cost me $30. I'm not willing to, to spend that much money. Uh, all right, I apologize for that. But uh, okay, here we go. So yours is, uh, what do you think is better when you're getting ready for a test, group study or individual study? Personally speaking, I prefer studying in groups over studying alone. Uh, this is mainly for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I feel that the inputs from friends always help you to understand concepts better. For instance, there was this one situation where I had an exam the next day and I had forgotten most of the concepts which were taught in the class. This is where uh, inputs from my friends helped me understand the subject better and I could fare well in the exam. Secondly, uh, I think that uh, teamwork is important and studying in a group actually helps you deal with uh, different kind of people the different study patterns they follow and hence you can always find the best pattern which suits you hence i think that uh, studying in group is much more efficient than studying alone okay this was pretty good you're pretty comfortable you speak quickly you have fluidity of expression you have good control over your grammar and your language use uh let me take a look at this um Yeah, I'm going to say you're probably between 3.0 and 3.5. So I'm going to say between maybe 24 to 26 points out of 30. Uh, that is my guess. And the, the one thing I notice, I think that that I think could cause you trouble is delivery. So you have some problems with pronunciation. OK. Listen to it one more time now. The second time, I'm going to go over it in a little more detail, and I may adjust the score. So right now I'm saying between 24 and 26 points out of 30 would be where I would put you right now. Personally speaking, I... Okay, personally, the P needs to have more air. You're not pronouncing that with enough air. prefer studying in groups over studying alone. Uh, this is mainly for a couple of reasons. Okay, I would not say that. This is mainly for a couple of reasons. Why not just state the reasons, right? So if you said uh, group study uh, helps me prepare for the exam better and it is much faster than individual study, therefore I prefer this method of study. So I would prefer that you actually state your specific reasons in the beginning instead of the general statement I have a couple of reasons because that, quite frankly, a lot of people will approach the TOEFL speaking task exactly that same way. So you want to kind of show how you're different from the hundreds and thousands of other people who take the TOEFL exam. Firstly, I feel that the inputs from friends. Okay, you say, firstly, I feel, I believe, I think. A lot of those words are not really needed because this is a personal experience speaking task. So we already know that this is your opinion without you having to say it directly. Always help you to understand concepts better. So again, you're using the you, you're moving into that second person singular point of view that moves you from the topic. It distances yourself from the topic, but that's not what you're trying to do here. You're trying to prove through your personal experience and through the experience of other people why you think group study is better. So instead of using the you or the second person point of view, I think the first and the third person point of view are going to work better. Okay, so if you want to go to Google to learn more about this, uh, type in the keywords choosing an appropriate point of view for academic speaking and writing. 
right? And you can kind of see what I'm talking about as you do some 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 study there. For instance, there was this one situation where I had an exam the next day. No, this is good. There was a situation I had an exam the next day. This is what I'm looking for. Specific examples. And I had forgotten most of the concepts which were taught in the class. Okay. This is where uh, inputs from... Yeah, but what class was it? Was it a biology class? Was it a chemistry class? Was it mathematics? So be a little more specific as you talk about it. My friends helped me understand the subject better and I could fare well in the exam. Okay, what did they help you understand better? What was the topic or the subject? Were you trying to understand cell division in uh, a biology class? Were you working on the quadratic equation or something in mathematics? You know, again, try to be a little more specific if you can, and that really helps to make your argument more convincing. Secondly, uh, I think that uh, teamwork is important. Secondly, I think that, no, just say secondly, teamwork uh, is important. But why are you saying that? I would say secondly, studying in groups promotes teamwork and important quality for students. So if you said that, that's going to take that idea and connect it back to the actual speaking prompt a little bit better than what you did there. So make sure there's a very clear connection of ideas. And studying in a group actually helps you deal with a different kind of people. Again, helps you deal with, now you're shifting again. You're now moving from the first person to the second person point of view. I think it's ungrammatical, quite frankly. So it, it, it's not consistent. So it disrupts the unity of your of your response i mean if you're talking and using the first person point of view then all of a sudden without any reason you shift into the second person point of view it kind of destroys the unity that you're trying to create for that response the different study patterns they follow and hence you can always find the best pattern yeah i like that word hence hence and hence you can find or hence students can find or hence i can find but using hence is uh, it creates that cause effect relationship it's a formal word but it does show how your ideas are connected which suits you hence i think that's uh, studying in group and hence i think i would say and consequently i think so don't use the same transition word twice within these types of responses if possible Right, so try to use another word that does the same thing, and that shows you have a little bit better range of vocabulary. It's much more efficient than studying alone. Okay, much more efficient than studying alone. Be careful of your long vowel sounds. Okay, so I, I listened to it in a little more detail. I'm gonna put you at 23 points out of 30 on this. I think that is my estimation right now. So I just gave you a lot of things that you can think about. And remember, if you do decide to join my online TOEFL course, my rule is simple. Uh, I have a lot of people joining my course right now, but you can only send one speaking practice test to me for grading every 24 hours. That's all I can afford. That's all the time I have to give you, unfortunately, but that's also why I keep my course so inexpensive. So uh, you can't send a full set. You can't send me four practice tests in one day. You can only send one. All right, that's my basic rule. You can learn more about my services right below my name. You'll see my TOEFL speaking and writing feedback service. You'll also see um, my TOEFL private lessons if you want to do that one. And you'll also see my TOEFL speaking and writing uh, or my, my online TOEFL courses. All right, and thank you for doing the practice test. And don't forget, subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and then click on that bell so you get notifications when I'm publishing new content so you can keep up with what I'm doing over at my YouTube channel. All right, thank you.